Guys who are currently watching a clip from our podcast, The Fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. Hey, while I was in Switzerland, where were you? I was in Ukraine. Doing nish. Nah, seriously, <laughs> yeah. seriously, what were you I doing went, I went to Chernobyl. If, if you, See, that yeah. sounds like a certain troll that you would say, but you actually I did actually fucking go there. to Chernobyl. Yeah, so obviously most of you have probably watched Chernobyl, HBO series, or even more common, I feel like you play Call of Duty. All gillied up. 50,000 people used to live here. Now it's yeah. a ghost town. That's where we went. Pripyat in Chernobyl. And it was sick. Went there to make a video. With the YouTube video? Yeah, YouTube Because you're back video. on this YouTube grind. Mm -hmm. Mate, talk to me a little bit about Chernobyl. Like, one, so it's in Ukraine, mm -hmm. right? So what, you fly into Kiev, which is the capital. Flying to Kiev, it's a three-hour flight. You get there, get a little hotel. Bloke picks you up at 7.30 in the morning. Tour <laughs> guide, right? Misha, Mish dog, big Mish. Yeah. Um, so he picks you up. Then you got a two-hour drive into Chernobyl town in the exclusion zone. From Kiev? From Kiev. That's not that you far. Start, I thought yeah, it was it's not be... too bad. Yeah. We, um, like we, you know what? The second we got there, we're driving through the exclusion zone. So we've gone through the checkpoint to get in. Gone yeah. past all the police and all that. And we just see a lynx straight off the bat. You know, the big cat. What? Do, Inside those the exclusion zone. massive yeah. fucking cat. Yeah. Well, not a wild he one. He said he'd seen three in his 10 years of doing the guide. And that was one of them. What? So I was like, damn. Did you stop and get a picture or anything? Yeah, we got like a video of it. There's foxes coming up to the car and shit. But in like, you know how when you see a fox, it runs away. Yeah. This fox ain't, this fox coming up to us with the yellow eyes. I'm like, shit, boy. Yeah, because it's fucking mutated, yeah. bro. Where's your foot? Like, this dog's got five legs. <laughs> so, like, five legs. Yeah, it could have been just been his cock, but still. <laughs> He's, that, he just mutated this monster it, cock. Maybe just, I need to go to Chernobyl. It's a strange place. Like, you're just walking. You just come out of the city and you'll just see a bunch of wild horses next to the trees. Wild horses just cutting about. When you say come out of the road. city, are you talking about coming out of Chernobyl? Like coming out of Pripyat, you're driving out. So yeah. Chernobyl is like the town next to the reactor okay. that blew up. And Pripyat yeah. is the town that was built to support the reactor financially, you know, okay. economically. Okay, okay. And Pripyat is the main bit that everyone knows about, the ghost town from COD. Oh, so that's not actually Chernobyl. No, it's, yeah, it's called Pripyat. It's a bit confusing, but yeah, yeah no, but it's mad. When you get there, you, you So know, you rock up, so you rock up to Pripyat. Pripyat. Yep. Yeah. That's one. And is that where you're staying? Because you stay there. So right? we stay just outside it in Chernobyl town. Uh -huh. Still inside the radiation zone. But yeah, they've got a hotel there. And if you go, we get there and he jokes about it being five star. And obviously you look at it, you're like, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's clearly just, not. It's, it's, it's close to being a hostel, right? Yeah. Um, and then we Googled it and yeah, it just comes up five star hotel. No, it's <laughs> not. And go. when you when you were there, was it was it good? No, <laughs> it wasn't, yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't bad considering it is in Chernobyl. Like yeah. it is like all the pipes and everything in the city are all above ground because you can't you can't dig up the soil because it's full of radiation. Bro, what? Yeah, it is mental. You can't step on the soil, like you know. Well, you could you couldn't step on the soil. So when when the explosion happened, they dug up the entire. They cleaned the entire city, all of Chernobyl. They cleaned it and they dug up all the soil, like a few uh -huh. meters of it. And replaced it with new soil. Wow! So, so that all the rain, and then took it all away. But obviously, there's still a bit there. Yeah, right? but it's crazy. Like, so what did he? Did you take like a like a Geiger counter or anything? Yeah, you take a little yellow counter with it, uh -huh. uh, and it just like bleeps. It takes you to parts where it did go crazy, and you're like, shit. He's like, yeah, you can't stay here for too long, otherwise. And you're just wow. like, damn. Yeah, did it was he? Was it was the guy looking a little mutated? Because he's guy obviously was, done it. Guy a few was times. A, guy was a hustler. It was his birthday. What, and he's he doing wrote, a tour he on his up, birthday? He wrote to up, we talked to him, he's like, yeah, it's my birthday, sir. I was like, Do you think he just says that to get big tips? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I was like, should we have a drink tonight? He's like, oh, you're busy, got meetings, man. Hustler. Then, the next day, it was Christmas Day. Christmas Day in Ukraine. Orthodox Christmas. What, what date is that? Like, the 5th? The 7th or summer, I think. Oh, okay. Or yeah. something like that. And he's like, yeah, it's Christmas Day. I was like, why are you working? He's like, I was hustling, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I never clock out, baby. <laughs> I swear to God, Sigma grind set. This guy, <laughs> this fucking guy, just didn't stop working. And uh, and then he was like, "I will go and have some time off tonight and have a glass of whiskey." I was like, "Well, wow, yeah." But he was also he was a nice guy, and he gave us a bottle of vodka as we leave. And was, and how much did that cost you? How much does the trip cost you? The trip wasn't that expensive. It's like three hundred dollars for the two day tour, which includes a hotel overnight. What? You're talking hundred- A five star hotel, by the way. Hundred quid for the return flights. Yeah. And then we had to pay 50 quid for the first hotel in Kiev. That's it. And then the rest of the trip, everything is so cheap. You want a mojito? Three quid. Three quid. Yeah, but is that because it's like a mojito, but the secret ingredient is cancer? No, I swear to God. Every, yeah, I mean, okay, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. I'll be feeling, <laughs> I, I, did, I did. We'll tell you one thing. My shits have been nuts. Really? 
telling you, radioactive shit. So I remember you sent a picture in a group chat of like the, you have to, on your way out, you have to go through like yeah, a scanner or something? Yeah, you have to do something? a radiation scanner to check you're okay to come out. I was just thinking what, to myself, out of the zone? Yeah. What if I scan here and it says no? <laughs> Am I just stuck? Yeah, what do they do? Do they just hose you down? I don't know. Yeah, you might have to bin all your clothes and stuff, take everything off, give you a new pair. Imagine you came with that like fresh Louis drip and then it's like, <laughs> yeah, no, that's gone. That, that's gone, bro. You just see the guards posted up with a new Louis bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, did sick. you run into, are there a lot of police there or do they not really care? There is a lot of police at the checkpoints, but overall, check like, they they check, check you got to go through checkpoints, different checkpoints to check that you're not, ra- you got radiation. Wait, then you got to go stuff. through checkpoints to check. Like it's just it's just weird. Like there's like certain zones you have to go through okay. to get. Like the more you go through, the more the radiation is and all that kind of shit. Oh shit! And and, and you have to check your official guide and stuff because the people we was gonna do. Well, I was gonna do this, but it takes a day to do it. There's something yeah. called an illegal sh- Chernobyl tour. Okay, but you have to. It takes a day to get there through the forest of walking. And right. obviously in the forest, there's links, there's, there's fucking all sorts. Yeah. You sleep in an abandoned thing. It's not really safe at all, but it means you can. Well, you're going illegally. The guide won't care about you going in buildings and stuff. Were you not allowed in any buildings? No, because everything's fallen to pieces. And they it's changed just really it dangerous. because there's so many accidents have happened. So they changed the rules where you can't go into the buildings now. Shit. But it was still nuts. And there was, was, it, uh, was it busy there? Not really, but he said it's gotten very busy. There'll be times where there'll be like 500 people stood outside the Ferris wheel. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's it was, there was low. only like 30 for hours, but that's the main bit, the Ferris wheel bit. Yeah. I posted up, got my little thumbnail in my yellow suit. Yeah, look forward to that. And is it quite like eerie? Scary. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, do you, can you it, hear like the wind going through like the Yeah, you can hear that. It's swing. not too scary during the day, but if you all stay silent, it's very strange. But then it starts going dark then it gets scary. And do, did you get to walk around in the dark? Yeah, driving around, walking around in the what? dark. Yeah. Full ice lake that was massive, all iced over with just abandoned boats stuck in the ice in the middle of the lake, tipped. I was like, this is some shit from a horror movie. That, like, I was literally great, about to say, crazy. that sounds so sick. And man. then we went to an old woman's house. They call him a babushka. Yeah. She's staying there. She's, moved, she she's moved back into a home. She's 85. 85? Yeah. The way would you though? She, would you? She a couple shots of that sweet vodka. I tell you what, fifty years ago, <laughs> well, she, she was, she, she was she doing it in her prime. She, like uh, uh, her house is heated by foresters that bring wood to her, like during the week they bring wood and she burns it and that's it. House heated. Her water comes Chip, from a well. I feel like I need to tell you something, bro. It's pretty normal to like heat a house with like wood. No, no, no. But like the way it was done, like she just has it all stored outside. It, it was just mad. To me, it was mad. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm used to central nah, heating. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You're used to the radiator she, in the like, living room. Any water, she clean herself. It's just straight from the well in a bucket. Oh, man. Yeah, like it was proper. Like, so, wait, she, rural, so you know. she invited you into the gaff? Yeah, she invites us into the gaff. It's Christmas Day. She got the whole fam over. She wait, so you just joined this yeah. 85 year old woman's yeah. Christmas Day, mm-hmm. Chippo Crimes as from Rotop. Oldham. Yep. As Rocked Up. With you went, we did this trip with Ben Morris. Yeah, Ben as well. Morris and my camera and Harry right there. Yeah, and before we go into the house, he's got us outside try- learning how to say Merry Christmas. And you know, how do you say it? I, I can't remember. It was <laughs> fucking so hard. <laughs> I've gone in there. We just give us a five minute rundown. He's like, "Come on, guys, you have to have the respect." <laughs> I was like, "Bro, I'm, I can't." It's hard to say. Ben was butchering it. Really? Uh, so and so when you walked in, did you say well, it? I said though? it. Didn't say it very did well. They laugh? We, we said it so many times, and everyone was going, "Yeah." I was like, "Oh, oh cheers." <laughs> Like I was some <laughs> little moron. Kid Sick, with disabilities though. is just rocked up. <laughs> oh God, here, here comes the make a wish block. Yeah, I've got the speech impediment and all that. But yeah, no, it was, it was, it's like someone going, oh, how, how did he say it? He was like, so imagine someone saying Merry Christmas in English, but a butcher in the, the pronunciation. Could you give me a Merry Chrysler? Mer- Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't, we can't do this. No, 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 it's just your butcher in the. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Maybe like Mel, Mel, Mel Whispers? <laughs> I don't know. You're it's just you're just going through every speech impediment that you know. I don't know. I don't. Uh, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> well, I told you to tell you, we don't care. No, sorry, I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, you went into this uh, old woman's house. Yeah, are you just doing like shots of vodka or what? Yeah, so we've rocked up. Misha goes, yeah, you got to do three shots of moonshine. It's tradition. <laughs> I was like, what? Which, by the way, we have up here, and it says on it, I think it says like 60% alcohol. Yeah, it was so, so it didn't actually, I pulled it up and I was like, oh, it's just vodka, and it says 40% on it. It's like, nah, that's just any bowl. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? She was like, this is her homemade vodka. It takes weeks to make. It's called Moonshine. Made um, with her very own And yeast. I'm just like, fuck me. You're like, yeah. It, that's lovely. Yeah, that it, it was, it was actually, actually all right, but you could tell this shit was very strong. Yeah. 
So I'm like, and were you well, peppered? Yeah, yeah, he's making us do a fast, and it's not a shot, obviously, it's Ukraine, so just whacked out a cup and <laughs> 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 like you, you do the you do the shot, and you're like, yeah, I can't really get all this in my gob. It was very big. I, I was hiding. I was putting it down. There was a little bit left. I just hit it. Burn of yeah, potatoes. nice, bro. Come on. Uh, but yeah, full feast on the table that she's prepared for us. What was Pit- the munch like? Oh, like? It was very nice. Potatoes, chicken. Tried a bit of cabbage. I pretended to like it. Do you trust the munch there though? Like that is like home toxic gr- munch. Home, homegrown potatoes, all that stuff. Everything there. Yeah, but everything you, that we like was you eating said about was, the soil. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, you know, were you not a bit shook? Well, I think where she lives, it's a little bit safe, which is yeah. why they've allowed her to move back in. Well, they initially said no, but she's 85 and she was like, fuck it, I'm moving here. To be fair, she's still alive at 85. Only allowed like. to move there if you have no kids. So what? she, you can't take your kids with you. So she was not, she had to move that alone, but she wanted to go back and live out the rest of her life there. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, but it's crazy. But it was, yeah, it was nice. And then we had a bit of munch, a lot of shots. Told Misha if he comes over to London, I'll take him to the United game. Yeah. You're going to fulfill that promise? Right? Yeah, of course. One day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Give him a tour of Old Trafford. Yeah, he's United. It's friend. just as toxic. No. <laughs> Brilliant. No, right now it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's the story. That's sick, man, bro. I'm actually so jealous. I was, I was actually thinking when you were putting pictures out there, I was, I was there like, I'd love to go, but then I don't think I'll ever go unless it was for a video. And then I'm there like, well, Chip's just done the fucking video. So well, hopefully it. it bangs, and then you can do it as well. Yeah, fuck it, just give it. Like yeah, six I'll give it. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's no, it's good. It's something you have to do. I think when, when I posted so cool, the pictures, I'm getting so many messages like, oh, it's something I always want to do. Is it cheap to go? Is it good to go? Yeah, it is cheap. You can just do the one day trip, hundred and fifty dollar tour guide. Yeah, hundred fifty dollars to the hotel. Hundred. How much you re- how, how much you reckon do the whole thing? Like just just you, uh, your price. Oh, if what? How much was mine? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine, I had to pay uh, just for me. Just uh, for you. Just for me. I'd well, say, like five hundred dollars, you could do. Yeah, it. I reckon about five hundred dollars. It's cost me. That's banging. That's yeah. like, like three fifty. And quid. I booked it last minute, which means the flights were expensive. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Normally you... the flights would be like thirty quid to Kiev. I paid yeah. hundred. Yeah, you That's can. That's class. Go, you can go there for cheap, and it's one. Of, it's a bucket list thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm jealous. It sounds yeah. like you had a fucking sick time, to yeah. be fair. Yeah, there it is. And uh, hope, hope, I'm praying this video gets more than 100k views. So if you're watching now, when you finish well, this it, podcast, it won't be out just yet, but keep an eye be, on the yeah, channel. It'll be out in this it's week, nice to this see you uploading hopefully. again, yeah, to be honest. Hustle, bro. man. I Got love cameraman it. Cameraman Harry working on the video Grafton right there. right now. I can see he's actually shackled. He's chained to the desk right now. Yeah. Um, he yeah. asked me to get him some food earlier, but I told him no, you only no. get the food on yeah. after the export. Yeah, <laughs> when I see that shit rendering, then yeah. you'll get a sausage roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, if it doesn't get a hundred k, it's rice, rice and beans. <laughs> rice and beans, rice and beans. You get nothing. Yeah, ten quid salary, mate. Yeah.